Hi, my name is Jill Smith. I'm a senior from Gothenburg High School. And this is my poem entitled, I Can't Explain to My Mother Why the Mouthwash Bottle is Empty. This is something I swore I wouldn't write about because there's no way to put it without a 14 plus label and I can't write it any other way. The only reason I wrote it anyway is because my counselor told me that writing could be beneficial and I hope it is but for somebody else who doesn't know how to write their own stories yet. I know my poem won't become a number one bestseller because who wants to hear another sob story about a girl who tried to contact a crisis hotline when her phone died and was left in dark silence. I don't want to personify my hands and say they were shaking like a scared child whose biggest fear was right before them because I was that scared child and no sort of description could sh show what made those shaky hands and wobbling feet move off the bed and slither towards the toilet. I know there's symbolism somewhere about the fact that one in my toothbrush makes me puke and the other cleans it up, but the vomit reminds me it's not supposed to be pretty. That's why the first four times I did it, I closed my eyes and flushed the toilet. And the first three times I wrote this, I deleted it. I'm still not used to it. When I tear myself off the bathroom floor and feel tears falling down my cheeks, I will remind myself that I'm not crying because of this depressing, angsty story. I'm crying because I was gagging. They don't write our stories right. Our stories are far too explicit for them to hit the bookshelf, so I'll use a metaphor to make it easier on everyone else. I am thrift shop trash, a book with folded edges and a broken spine. I have stains from last night's dinner on my t-shirt. Sorry, scratch that stains from last night's t-shirt on my pages. But if you decide to lounge into bed with me in between your palms, your search for a climax will be pointless because I'm too scared to kill myself and everybody else is too scared to write it. I'm an author who doesn't like to write endings because they're too easy and nobody likes a story that you can predict. I don't want to be some quirky, relatable character because this shouldn't be. Puking up your food isn't a character trait. The only time they write decently about us is when we're the secondary characters who change the life of the main ones like, please stop puking, don't you know how hard this is for me? As if driving is the easiest thing that I've ever done. And after countless hours of downplaying the abuse I put myself through, I will finally label this story as a fairy tale because 50 pounds down and enough editing to make it look like a work of fiction puts me as the pretty protagonist. But how do I explain to someone who doesn't deal with this that the eating disorder is not the antagonist for somebody who goes through this, the, the villain will still be me, but fatter.